Good afternoon, pilots. The Soviets have made their move. As you know, three days ago, several insurgent platoons attempted to storm the Kremlin and the White House to seize the Prime Minister and the President of the Russian Federation. They have failed and thus go to their backup plan to throw this country back into civil war. Sadly, it seems like a large portion of the military in the central and eastern regions are loyal to the Soviet cause. As per degree of the President of Russia, all of war-capable assets are now under the command of the state. This includes the Cuban security assets. However, since we have far more experience working alongside neutral powers than our own forces, other than as aggressors, we will be treated as a third party and not fully integrated into the armed forces. The past few days have seen a build-up of forces on both sides as neither side was truly prepared for a military conflict. We expect hostilities to begin in earnest today or tomorrow. Lieutenant General Vasin is returning from the Ukraine to take command of all Russian Black Sea forces and we expect the Soviets try and assassinate him. Thunder Flight will fly a combat air patrol to defend the general's transport. You will rely on your liaison and the AWACS flight to provide directions and prioritize any targets that may appear. You are expected to be airborne at 1310 at the latest. Meanwhile, our Vigans will be covering the deployment of a Grisha class corvette from the harbor by attacking a missile boat moored in a nearby harbor controlled by the Soviets. We do not know if the crew have chosen sites, but we will not take any chances. The enemy have modern equipment, but not modern air-to-air -air weapons. You will most likely encounter A and C model Fulcrums. We know that the Soviets have a full squadron deployed at Sochi Air Base. Be on alert for bomber aircraft such as Fencer or Backfire as well. Weapons free against identified targets. You are advised to rely on AWAC support to guide you onto the target. Remember that our Air Force also flies the same kind of aircraft as our enemy and that these have the same markings as the Soviet ones. Confirm your targets before firing. Thunder Flight, Bolt Flight, this is Spear Cup. I will be your liaison for the missions ahead. You're clear to proceed on mission. Inserting the data coverage. Lock it in and enter the data. Warning. And we are good. Prep the data link. All set. Cockpit overview also looks fine. Looks like the Vigans are already on their way. We should probably be good at taking off right behind them. But we're gonna let them pass first. Rolling.
Looks like the close protection platoons have been deployed as well, so we don't really have to worry about it getting caulked on the ground. Or at least so I hope. Let's slow down a little bit so we don't run into the airplane in front of us. Not really where I would have chosen to break if I was a vegan, but hey. Looks like we got some squalls in the weather as well, so... We got something on the data link, unclear what. We got splashes in the water, might... Another splash. Lots of smoke. I think something just got hit in the water over there. Not good. Yeah, it looks like there's a ship burning out in the harbor area. Too bad. I hope it wasn't the Corvette that the Vigans are supposed to cover the departure of. But, uh, we'll see about that. We'll get the answer in debrief either way. Thunder 1-1. One, one. Copy Tower, Thunder 1-1, one, one, departing. Rotating. Altitude, altitude, altitude. Switching frequency. 1-1-9, one, one, done. We are climbing to 15,000. We got contacts closing fast. Data link seems to identify them as a full ship, but they are still yellow on the IFS. We are going to try and acquire radar contact. Data link has confirmed enemies as hostile. I say again. We get we are switching to air combat mode and are directing ourselves towards the foreship. SD tens are armed. We will go heading 145 for intercept. Tracking. No Tracking. response on IFF Tracking. interrogate. Tracking. We will assume Tracking. hostile. Tracking. 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 Звену. Атакуй воздушные цели. Второй. Подтверждаю. Второй. Работаю по воздушной цели. Tracking. Tracking. Track. Четвертый. Пуск ракеты. Второй. Обнаружена цель. 
Jackson. Tracking. One six zero. Fox free. One six zero. Fox free. Tally contact. Lock him up. One six five. Fox free. Tracking. Let's see if we can't get the other one as well. Missile. 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 Tracking. 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 Watch the second guy. One seven seven. Fox free. At least two of the MiGs have been splashed. Tracking. Missile. Keep our eyes open. Tracking. Tracking. Missile. We're ditching the fuel tanks and our increasing speed. Looks like we have some someone who fired just behind us, but unclear. Clear identity. Tracking. Tracking. That might. Yeah, that's one of us. Has to be. Or is it? Tracking. I lost the visual awareness of where the enemy are. We got something. Tracking. We'll follow that trail and see what where it leads us. There's at least yeah, the twin the twin flares. There he is. That's a MIG. Fox 2! Splash! Tracking. 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 If you can see him, take the shot. Tracking. Tracking. Tracking, tracking, tracking. Tracking, tracking, tracking. We have a number of signals up ahead, but tracking, unclear what tracking. kind. We'll investigate. But, uh, Tracking, tracking, tracking. Tracking, tracking, tracking. Tracking, 
tracking, tracking, tracking, tracking, tracking, tracking, tracking, tracking, tracking, tracking, tracking, tracking, tracking, tracking. 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 Tracking, tracking. before I got visual on the missile launch I wonder if it's an um, bogey who is climbing right there we'll have a look There's two of them, one large, one smaller. I suspect the smaller one has to be one of our boys. We'll move in and assist. That looked like a splash to me. I don't think we need to assist any further than that. Or is it? He's way close on that. Is it a fencer? Yeah, that's an injured fencer. Trailing fuel. He's way too close to that thing. Thunder flight picture is clean. You may return to base. Copy that, Bear Cub. Thunder flight will return to base. Our first sortie into Operation Black Bear could have gone a little bit better in my opinion. Still, we managed to do most of the things that we set out to do. We were a little bit impatient here on the uh, takeoff, but we it also seems like two cruise missiles just came out of nowhere and destroyed the ship in the harbor with a helicopter rushing to looking for survivors there. However, our combat air patrol was fully successful. The enemy had a mainstay in the air, fairly far away, so pretty much out of our range. And also kept launching missiles as well as deployed fences and fulcrums against us. Now, to have the overall picture here, we have the plane we're supposed to protect is over here. Our airbase is over here. Our AWACS is over here. The uh, Vigans, who are heading for an anti-ship missile uh, mission, is over here. Incoming uh, anti-ship missiles are here, with a fencer flight close to the coast. Our objective was to protect the General's plane at all costs, so that is what we had to do and to do that we would have to commit to this fulcrum flight the initial engagement went rather well uh, most of our flight got missiles away and managed to break up the enemy formation nicely 
Uh, the initial volley of missiles did, however, not neutralize all that many targets. There are still at least two fulcrums active in uh, as uh, we break for the individual engagements. And I also lost in the situational awareness in this dogfight, which is a very annoying thing to happen and really shouldn't happen either. But then again, when that missile missile warning pops, it is awfully annoying, to be honest. Because you don't really have much choice in the matter but to take evasive action and assume that the missile they have detected is yours. As you can see here, we uh, managed to flail around here while the rest of the Thunder Flight went for defenses and when it comes to defenses they quickly realized that their mission could not be completed so one of them tried to fight their way out by engaging one of our JF-17s but said JF-17 just went at it with guns and we did not need to help him finish the job. So all that remained was to return to base and land the plane at the airport. So mission accomplished, could have gone better, but still we have all our aircraft, both the Vigans and all four JF-17s of Thunderflight intact, with uh, the enemy taking eight casualties and we taking none. I'd actually say that is a pretty damn good day.